So I missed this. I remember watching it and I think that I shared it on Twitter, but I really wanted to talk about this with you all on stream, but I never did. But now I'm going to do it. So back in August of 2021, David Fackman got a call from somebody who was absolutely ruthlessly dragging all of independent media. David Fackman, TYT, uh, and also myself. But I think that nobody was dragged as much as myself. And what this person says about me, as you're going to see, is incredibly substantive. It's a very valid critique of me. So let's go ahead and watch from the beginning. Uh, by the way, David Packman's reaction is just, it's hilarious. Caller who called one, two, three, four, four times in a row. Could be something. Let's see. Hey, David. It is David Eckert again. Uh, just giving you my daily phone call. Um, just wanted to let you know, um, I'm openly challenging any left-wing debater to a debate. I am not a right winger. I am far left. In fact, I believe I live left while other people just talk about it. Uh oh, so <laughs> He's way, way, way more leftist than all of us because we might talk about being leftists. He lives left. Okay, he lives like a leftist every day. So you already know where this is going. Like it already is seemingly unhinged, but let's just listen longer. Um, I would like to debate TYT, but they are very much dodging me after the Crowder season. They're dodging him. <laughs> debacle. My sense is TYT has no idea who this guy is. Where no one would debout, or Crowder wouldn't debout today's Cedar because Cedar's too small for him. There's no reason my little channel shouldn't debate. I think Chris Vosh wants to debate this guy, so then he called right back again. So, uh, sorry, Stephen Eckert, one more time. I just want to finish these things I'm saying is like, you know, the shirts that you wear. You actually advertise and prop up that company. I don't know if it is or if it isn't, but are, is that recycled materials? <laughs> what? What on earth? I'm sorry, but if you're not living... Uh, as a leftist by making sure that every article of clothing that you have is made of recycled materials, then you're a bad leftist. Like, wouldn't somebody who's this much of a strong progressive know that there's no ethical consumption under capitalism? Like, even if you get something that was made of recycled materials, that labor that made that particular material is going to be likely um, an exploited worker. I, I mean, this is really like, this is the situation where you have to say please touch grass but it gets even better oh my god you could do that you know you can wear recycled clothes i might just wear a trash bag actually and make there you go yourself in your own life as david packman to do the things that i can tell you that are simple in your own life to make the change I don't see one left wing host doing that. I'm actually, I'm currently weaving pants from all the bamboo fibers that they're pulling off the ballots in the Arizona Arden. The humanist report. Do you know how much petroleum goes into the tattoos that he has? <laughs> <laughs> that can't be real. Oh my God. I'm going to have to talk to Mike from uh, <laughs> the humanist report. This guy's the best. The petroleum footprint of, of his of his tattoos. Oh my god. That cannot be real. Please clip it, guys. That Okay, how do you know that the ink isn't made from, you know, sustainable uh chemicals and whatnot? <laughs> how do you think of this shit? How do you think of this shit? Out of all of the, you know, CO2 contributors. You know, when you know that there is 100 corporations that contribute to 71% of global greenhouse gas emissions, this dude is like, you know what? It's the petroleum that, go <laughs> that goes into the ink for your fucking tattoos. Guilty as charged. Okay, I indeed have tattoos. I'm a climate criminal. Uh, I love David Packman's reaction, by the way. It just makes the clip. Something else. Um... Let's, I can't tell if this is real. Let's see a little bit more. Part of me thinks that he's memeing. Like, I think that he... I, I'm, like, torn. I don't know. Maybe Chad can help me out. I, I think he's probably memeing overall. Like, I don't know if he's being real. Although the fact that he called and left multiple messages for David Backman, 
Um, that leads me to believe that maybe he is a little bit psycho and unhinged. But there's also, it's so ridiculous, there's got to be a chance that he's memeing. Yeah, exactly, Kiwi Bird. Left, uh, leftism is when no tattoos. When Azan no house and when uh, Mike no tattoos, right? Mike tats lead directly to World War IV. Thank you for pointing it out. Somebody had to say it, but you all aren't ready for that conversation, are you? Like, is that not vanity? It is, bro. All of those... Everything is vanity. Of course, tattoos are vanity, but if you get a haircut, that's vanity. If you shave your face, that's vanity. The clothing that you wear is vanity. What's your point? Can you not be, like, conscious about your self-image and want to boost your own confidence by dressing a certain way and presenting yourself as a certain way? Um... But you're a bad leftist if you if you don't do it like it just it's such a it's such an absurd argument. It has to be fake. Like he has to be joking. I refuse to believe that this is a serious person. Well, my tattoo carbon footprint is zero. I have no tattoos that are causing the resources to be sucked dry off of this planet. Every lady who puts on makeup every single day that's petrol based doesn't want to take responsibility for the soldier that dies across seas. Stop putting makeup on your face. Men, stop making these women feel like they have to put makeup on their face. They're be so this is getting really edgy. So then he immediately <laughs> called right back. Hey, David, last message in message three. The last thing I want to say is I will go to a TYT live chat and I will say what I just told you and they silence me on that channel. Okay? Well, if it's, it's like 10 pages to transcribe it is like 10 pages. It probably was a wall of text. You wouldn't stop. We'd have to do the same thing. Okay, and... If you if you spam the same thing on YouTube, it will automatically hold that as spam. So like every single YouTuber has a has been accused of deleting comments, but people don't realize that most of us don't look at the comment section to the extent that we do. We're not policing our comment section. Like I think I've had to delete like two comments in my entire YouTube career because they had slurs in them. Um, but these are getting picked up by spam. Like if you are spamming the same thing or you're posting like a giant wall of text with like 10 paragraphs, the spam filter is going to pick that up. And the reason why it goes away forever is because most of us don't have time to check our spam filter. So if I go to my spam filter, there's like 100,000 messages held for spam. I can't review all of them because whenever I try to, uh, you know, you could check the box and then like approve like 50 or, or 100 on a page, but it just freezes. There's there's too much. Like it, it's a bad system, admittedly. But that's probably why they're deleting your comment. It's not getting deleted. It's just you're spamming and the automated filters are picking that up. And the left. That is a problem, dude. Huge problem. They and also, why are you calling me about TYT? I have nothing to do with TYT. Literally silence me. I follow every TOS rule. I am never disrespectful. I am literally nicer than Dan Bailey was to Tucker Carlson to these people, with the exception of saying I will decimate them in a debate. That's it. And that's not ban worthy. We all know it's not. So what I'm trying to get at here is what happens when they do that. So I don't feel comfortable on a left wing channel. I can't say what I feel. And it's. What? Hold on. What happened there? Communicated from a left wing channel. So what happens to people like that? Like, where am I left to go? You know, like this is how. you. So like you can only watch a particular channel if they'll accept your debate invitation. Do you know how many debate invitations leftist political commentators get from like random nobodies? Like nobody on the left would have time for anything. So I don't understand why you can't enjoy something unless you engage with it. Like I'm a huge fan of H3 podcast, right? I would love if uh, Senpai Ethan Klein noticed me, love him, but he has not. And I have never interacted with Ethan Klein um, I haven't debated Ethan Klein, but I can still enjoy the content. This is so weird. It leads me to believe that he's not that petulant, right? Where it's like, no, I, I demand the attention in order to consume the content. The dude's got to be trolling. I hope he's trolling. Otherwise, his brain is just genuinely rotten. To the right is because I literally look at it and go, wow, the left wing... I don't know what he's... Is he saying that as a left winger who's mad at left wingers, he's not allowed to chat? And so now everybody's on the right as a result? Me at all. Maybe. They do not want to listen to me. Where is my choice to go? To the right? Who is are what... you? Who are you? <laughs> like, why, why do we have to listen to you? Why are you entitled to us listening to you? Look at the Twitch chat. I can, I'm talking to all of them. I'm listening to them. I see Tim Bob, Gamergy, Hilda Beast, Artillery joined in, Gamergy. 
Like, it's not like we avoid people. I'm talking to people right now. It's not like we, like, put ourselves in a in a bubble and we're insulated from anyone talking to us. Like, somebody can walk into the chat right now and call me a fuckhead. I'd have no control over that. So, like, what are you talking about? Like, you have to talk to us, like, through Skype one-on-one. I just don't understand. It's it's such a weird demand to make. To look at yourself and go, you know what, man? I, I should do this, man. I'm going to do that. You know what? Tomorrow is David Pacman. I'm going to buy a recycled shirt, wear it on the air, and prop it up. That's it. <laughs> That's all we got to do, man. It is not hard. You know, listen to the real left. We are the minuscule portion of this. Listen, this is my official response to this individual. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Yeah. So uh, if I had to guess, I don't think that David Pacman is wearing recycled shirts. And, like, I haven't gotten any tattoos in a long time, like, since the pandemic, but is the request that I remove the tattoos? And, like, this is why these types of um, attacks on people for being climate criminals, it doesn't make sense. Like, you're distracting from the real issue, and it's why I'm torn about, like, calling out celebrities like Kylie Jenner for taking 12-minute private jet rides, even though that's clearly horrible and she's contributing to the problem. Like, do you call that out? Or would you rather spend that time, you know, criticizing the 100 corporations that are responsible for 71% of greenhouse gas emissions? I mean, perhaps this guy might say, you could do both. Okay, that's fair. Um, you know, you, you can call out the tattoos that I have. I'm not the only one with tattoos. But genuinely, do you honestly think that people are going to accept your argument or be open to hearing from you when you, you say things like, take off that makeup? Why do you have tattoos? Why aren't you wearing a recycled shirt? Like, it's clown shit. <laughs> so maybe this is why people won't talk to you. It's it's so weird. I, but again, I don't know if this is real. I hope it's a troll. If it is a troll, it's a good troll because he's like seemingly keeping it all together. Like, I would probably laugh. Uh, but it seems like this is... I don't I, I don't know. I'm 50-50. Chat, you'll, let me know if you think this is real or not. But either way, like this, if this is a real person who's being serious... This is a fucking clown and you have to touch grass. You have to like log off and you have to touch grass. Get laid. Like do something. Take up a hobby because this is fucking stupid. You're telling David Backman to wear recycled shirts. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> it's so, it's so stupid and petty. World. And the problem is there is propaganda. All and right. And then he promised that was his last call, but he did call back again with a full <laughs> three minute call. <laughs> I'm sorry, David, Stephen, after one more time, just, I can discuss these things with you, Colin. We can have this discussion on air. I'm I wasn't getting that impression. Be the way I am in the last few messages. What is there even to discuss, you know? It's the frustration of being shunned by a left-wing site and feeling like you have nowhere to go with the real information. Um, I just, you know... Really need you to Nobody's shunning you. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> like nobody knows who you are. So that we have to have this discussion on air. We have to get to the bottom of these issues and make people accountable on an individual level. We just cannot sit around and wait for policymakers, man. It's not getting the job done. And the point of this last message is, man, TYT's moderators are calling me a paid right wing troll. Dude, it's like who they're mod I can't have I have nothing to do with TYT or TYT's moderators. I have no way to adjudicate any of what is being said. It has nothing to do with my show. It's just like, come on, guys, please. Please. Um By the way, this is a funny contrast to that last one. Hey David. Um, have you ever considered just doing away with the voicemails on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking so about it right now, actually. Why? Do you, it's interesting you should bring that up. I'm, that it's, it's, it just occurred to me. Okay, I've got to say, um, for some reason, it makes me want to go in the opposite direction and start doing voicemails because that's, that's gold. That content is absolutely gold. Um... <laughs> That's good stuff. So, folks, I will admit I am a climate criminal because I have tattoos, but I'm a double clim climate criminal because I have no idea if this shirt is made from recycled materials. I, I don't know. I haven't looked at the tag. I, I don't know. I don't even remember where I bought this shirt from. Um, I have no idea. My glasses may also be made from um, unsustainable materials. Like, the expectation here... Like, this is almost like... 
the the like hippie equivalent of evangelicals. Like when I was younger and growing up Christian, every little thing that I did was hyper analyzed where it's like, oh, you're playing that video game and it has ghosts in it. That's evil because there's no such thing as ghosts because there's heaven and hell. There's no in between. So like every little thing is analyzed and he wants to like do this. But for like the left where it's like, oh, well, what's that that you're wearing? What's that food that you're eating? What's that like fucking, you know, um, shoes that you're wearing? This is not going to win people over. Nobody wants to live their life that way. Okay. You, you have to push for macro changes, not micro changes. And to the extent that we can make better decisions at the individual level, sure, we should. But you're not going to do that by shaming people. That never works ever. But yeah, I had to share that because that is just, I feel like that's gold. And I'm so mad at myself for forgetting to talk about that. But now I am. And um, God bless David Pakman for keeping a straight face um, for most of that. His reaction was fucking just hilarious. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. Genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.